Hi and welcome to another edition of One Side SA, the soccer show that tells you what's going on. Budge, we're just going to touch on, we had an international week, but we're just going to touch on who had gone through a, a major smash, 158, 158 left from 617. Ball. Correct. Uh, Arsenal, Man City, Crystal Palace and Norwich. Mali Sewell. Mali Sewell went through. Yeah. Well, what I want to touch on, Budge, is there were 34 ladies who entered, but these ladies went through. This is very good. And uh, let me get my glasses and like make them right. So Milan Laveau, Tanya Radford, Carol uh, Whiteford. Whitehead, that's... Uh, oh, you've written Whiteford. Okay. Is that... That's... that's, that's, that's colours. That's uh, colours as well. Yeah, she always goes through. Sue Miller, Ashley Berger, Kerry Varga, Kelly Potts, Rene Roos, always there, Michelle Tovey, Yvonne Borenser, Blair Miller, Pam Kolnick, Glyn Harker, Dora Roussos, and Catherine Armstrong. Yep, Catherine's the reigning champ. Reigning champ. champ. So those are the women that, uh, and as I say, 34 of them entered. It's good to see. There was, that number will grow, but Yeah, no doubt. Paul. But uh, the bragging rights could be a bit more difficult. Now, uh, let's talk about the international people that are yeah. still in. Uh, Kelly Potts. Yeah, Kelly's part of the Faree camp in the US. She goes out with Denver. Colin Young. Colin Young. That's uh, Catherine's father. He's in the UK. Mm. Nigel Swinbank, we yeah. know. Yeah. Your brother's Your brother still in the game. in again, yeah. Francois Dumy. That's some Mauritius. Mauritian connection, yeah. Mark Abood, London. Neil Horsman, London. Yeah. Steve Potter. He's in Brighton at the moment, Steve. He's emigrated. Okie dokie. Uh, leading contenders, always like us. Top of the book, Lawrence Werners. Yeah. Well done, Lawrence. Six going through. Mark Curry, five. Paul Lafferty, four. Now you're in the, the Lafferty you're, team. That, okay. That's the Lafferty team. Four people have three picks and 19 people have two picks. Yeah, so plenty to go. Obviously, Paul only gone one round. So we'll see. This is a trick round. So we'll see what happens. Some interesting picks come in so far. Okay, the guys make sure they get their picks in. Stevie B, is he about? Yep. Steve, good morning. Good morning. All right, we won't right. talk about... Uh, we're going to start on the internationals. England 10-0. you think they should have eased off? They did. They took Kano. Well, not necessarily. I mean, I guess it's, uh, it's an opportunity. Some of the players who don't normally play obviously want to show... Uh, I know it's against weak opposition, but... So I don't think, you know, the public don't, you know, don't like to see teams just uh, taking the sort of against too much. So, you know, I think it was, it was a bit of the twins since 1964. Uh, so, you know, San Marino, you know, were gutsy, but were, were poor. So, uh, they did what they had to do. England won the group comfortably in the end. Yeah. Steve, uh, the playoff seeding, I see there's 12 teams. Just explain how it's going to work. Yeah, so there are teams and six unseeded. It's the ten runners up in the ten groups plus the two teams who did best in the in, in the last year's Nations League but okay. aren't already through. So so Austria and the Czech Republic are the two who didn't finish in the top two but they've been added to the unseeded list. Now it's gonna be done in three groups of four and uh, so there'll be two seeded teams, two unseeded teams in each group and they will Two senior teams will play the other two unseeded teams on a one-off game at home. Okay. The winners will then play, and there'll be a draw then for who hosts the final of each group. So, you know, I mean, the, the fact that you've got teams like Portugal and Italy in there, they could they could be drawn together in the same group. So one of them okay. would go out. They could end up. Um, so the only other match that can't take place um, is that they're keeping Russia and the Ukraine separate for political reasons. But otherwise, it's a free draw, and the draw's being made in Zurich next Friday. So, you know, I think they'll be exciting games because they're one off and they're not two legged affairs. You know, they are, they are, they are a, a pure knockout. Okay. Steve, uh, injuries? Any major injuries? Yeah, I'm not aware of any sort of too many. You know, the trouble is, uh, the clubs don't always like to. Uh, to talk about who's in, who's in and who's out until you know they, they do the managers do their press conferences. So um, not aware of. I mean, obviously there were a number of players that were carrier locks that weren't available for the round ten of the World Cup games, but they've been back at their clubs for a few days now, so they're not quite sure. So uh, you know, there might be a few longer term ones who are already out, but I'm not aware of any major new ones. Okay, I just want to do ask uh, Romero. I know it's Spurs got injured. You know, for playing for Argentina. I know he got injured, Steve, but uh, as, as you just said, there's uh, not too much come out in the wash. Yeah. You know, 
Uh, Steve, while we're while we're about it, I just saw uh, Dean Smith holding up the Norwich jersey. There's there's been a bit of uh, musical chairs since we last spoke. Yeah, there certainly has been. I think that uh, I mean, obviously Frank Lampard is linked, and he he basically cut his name away. I think he still has aspirations to manage a, a bigger club in due course, and I think you know if he goes to Norwich, and, and one would think that they you know would, would be a miracle for them to stay up, he'd then be back in the championship. I'm not sure that works what he wants. So. Yeah, you're talking about the championship, Steve. Uh, latest news, Derby and Reading both had massive point deductions. Yeah, I mean, well, these were, so Derby had the 12-point uh, deduction already. That was for going into administration. So these are effectively the financial fair play deduction. Derby got nine points, uh, and uh, yesterday Reading were, were given a six-point deduction. Uh, you know, I think some people might think, well, why did they get less than... Uh, Derby. Derby. Uh, <coughs> but, you know, but Derby are obviously now in, in severe difficulties because they are um, they were on 18 points and now on minus three and uh, Reading uh, lost six points but they're still outside the bottom the bottom three themselves so you know I think it's hurt Reading I mean obviously it's probably hurt their any playoff aspirations but I think they're probably okay but Derby are 18 points adrift no team has ever stayed up uh, in recent years so that, that's at the level so um, you know, it'll be interesting to see that Derby's next two games are against the top two teams away all with the Fulham so either they're going to come out fighting and, or, they get, or their heads, heads will drop uh, because they feel they've got a losing battle but uh, you know, I think you know, I guess some people feel sorry for them but again if you break the rules the only thing is next season you know, that they have a clean slate because if this was hanging over them it wouldn't help them if they went down and they had points uh, yeah, it's true. Steve, uh, on to the Premiership. Obviously, it starts again. A uh, big game at lunchtime. Leicester, Arsenal, uh, Leicester, Chelsea. Yeah, very big game. It's uh, Leicester. It's funny. A few weeks ago, we're looking really good, and they just sort of went off the boil. That was a, you know, a bit of a surprise to Arsenal. Uh, they went on and they were doing the Arsenal. Chelsea, you know, they, they, you know, doing obviously sitting at, uh, at the top. Uh, I think that they they'll probably go there and get a result, but he's just not quite sure. Uh, what you're going to get from Leicester more than Chelsea, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, Mason Mount, Mason Mount pulled out uh, of the England squad. Um, you know, not, again, we don't know whether he's he's back in training at the club. You know, we'll know that in the next day or so. I think it'll be a close game. I think, uh, I think personally, I think Chelsea would win there or certainly not lose. Mm. Two interesting clash at Turf Moor, Burnley against an improving Crystal Palace. How do you see that going? Yeah, I think that'll be close. I mean, Burnley were very good in their last home game. They beat Brentford. Uh, uh, their new uh, French player Max Corner is, is looking like uh, you know, they, they've unearthed a bit of a star there. Yeah. I think they'll be, you know, Palace, they're, Palace have had a couple of great results that surprised people. Um, I think this will be close, but I just got a feeling Burnley, you know, just, I think that, that first win, uh, and they've got a good draw at Chelsea, I think they might surprise uh, one or two people get a result. Okie dokie, another game that should be a classic, Wolves West Ham, two informed sides. Yeah, very much so, and I've been very impressed with the way Wolves have turned the season around. But West Ham are just so strong. I mean, that was a fantastic performance against Liverpool, there's no question. Uh, I think they're going to go to Wolves with a huge amount of confidence, and I'm a little surprised if they, they, they put off a victory again there themselves. Yeah, I see Michele Antonio scored two goals for Jamaica, one was against America, what's on ESPN was a screamer. They flew him back in a private plane. So, uh, you know, they need to wrap him. He, you know, he is having, you know, the most amazing sort of Indian summer, you know, to his career. You know, he said just a few years ago, he was still playing non league football. Yeah. Here he is, sort of over, over 30 years old, in the best form of his career. And, uh, you know, they, they, he's just, you know, just a great uh, talisman for them at the moment. Yeah, correct. Big game, Liverpool Arsenal. Can Arsenal keep it going? Uh, well, this you know, this is an opportunity. I mean, they, they're having a great uh, run. You know, I, I don't think after three games anyone are predicting where they'd be in the league. You know, Liverpool got a bit to uh, to prove, bounce back after that uh, defeat at West Ham. I think you know, Arsenal don't have a particularly uh, good record in recent years at uh, Anfield. I think I think Liverpool should be too strong, but you know, they're showing a bit of fight about them Arsenal. But I think this might be just a game too far. 
Yeah, okay, okay, and last but not least, the thriller on Sunday, Tottenham against Leeds United. Yeah, I mean, last year I remember uh, Leeds came and were very cavalier and top, uh, a few past them. I think, uh, you know, this is a game that uh, Conte is maybe looking at thinking we need to we need to step up and get some goals here. I mean, if Harry Kane hasn't got, uh, you know, any more confidence after, uh, you know, seven goals in his last two England games, um, you know, so I think this would be a close game, but I think I, I fancy Spurs to edge it. Okay, okay. So do I, Steve. <laughs> well, that'll keep Paul happy. That's no surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, under the championship, your Fulham boys are cruising. Another comfortable victory expected? Well, look, on, on paper, you know, we're playing a team uh, who are bottom of the form league, one from bottom of the table. Um, two years ago, they did the double over us. That's they right. They Fulham and shot us. Um, but they've appointed a new manager, but he doesn't start until Monday. Look, on paper, we should win, but we've won six in a row. You know, sometimes these runs come to an end. Hopefully, uh, Mitrovic has come back uh, from cloud nine and, and it's fit and, and everybody else is available pretty much. So I think uh, I think we should win. I think, you know, and, and I would expect to do it by at least a couple of goals. Okie dokie. Crucial game for you. Huddersfield at home against West Brom. I mean, West Brom uh, have obviously suffered a bit. They've lost their last three away. Yeah. Um, Huddersfield having, you know, are still sort of up there around the playoffs. I fancy Huddersfield to pull up a bit of a shock. Um, you know, they, they've been playing well recently. It's certainly at home. I think that'd be a tough game for West Brom. Okay, dokie. My boys, Preston, should we beat or can we beat Cardiff City? I think so. I mean, obviously, Cardiff have, uh, obviously with new manager just come back and scored uh, and had their first win in a while. Um, they, they got a good three all draw at Stoke, and then so they won last week, um, two weeks ago. I think that'll be a tough game, but then Preston are, are, are on a decent run. So, uh, you know, I think that'll be close, but, you know, I think Preston might edge that. Let's hope so. Interesting game. Andy Carroll signed for Reading against an informed Notts Forest side. How do you see that going? Yeah, I think that uh, that was an interesting, uh, you know, if he stays fit. Uh, which has obviously been his problem. If he stays fit, you know he could be uh, a real danger in the championship if yeah. they get the right. If they get, the, if he gets the service, I think they're going to be uh, probably bored. You know, I think Reading going to be stung by by the six point uh, deduction and might be determined to, uh, to to haul themselves up a bit. You know, Forest had been playing well, but obviously they had a you know, they had that one big defeat against us. But I think it'll be close. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Andy Carroll will just inspire Reading to get three points. Okie dokie, and last but not least, inform Swansea City against an improving Blackpool. Yeah, I mean, Blackpool really has uh, been one of the surprises of the season, but Swansea at home have looked really good. I, I, I strongly fancy that. Fancy Swansea, Swansea, eh? All right, Steve, pressure time again. Your best bet and value bet, please. Is it Swansea? It is Swansea, yeah, you just mentioned them. I think, I think at home, um, you know, they got, they got well beaten at Bournemouth last time out, but at yeah. home they've been very strong. So I fancy them. But I think my, my value bet, I'm going to go for Huddersfield. You know, I think that, uh, that they've, they've been performing pretty well at home recently. West Brom three defeats in a row. You know, they've shown that you know, teams get, 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 you know, get around them quickly. Uh, they've got big defenders, but they're a bit slow. Yeah. So I, I think that could be a, a surprise. Oh, right, Steve. Thank you well, very much. Very good, very good, Stevie. Yeah. And uh, we'll you talk, talk with you soon. Speak next week, Steve. All the best. Yeah, Thanks, Steve. Steve. Thanks Bye. very much. Thank you very Thanks much. For... All right, that was Stevie B over from uh, the UK in the London office. Let's get on to those premiership games because it's, it's, uh, it's looking tough. We spoke about last one standing. Budge, let's go through them. Yeah, a couple of big games this week, Paul. Very difficult. You know, you've got a fancy Chelsea. You know, Leicester, Paul at home. They, they just can't keep a clean sheet. They're battling. They're they're battling. You know, Chelsea should, should have beat Burnley last week. But uh, I think they'll get back to winning ways here. I think there'll be goals because one thing about Vardy, you know, he's yeah, always sticking around. And uh, I think Chelsea will win both teams to score, Paul. Okay. Right. Villa, new boss. Stevie Gerrard. They lost five in a row, Paul. But, uh, you know, Brighton don't get beat away from home. I think they're Amazing. unbeaten in six this year. Every away game they haven't been beaten. The, the, the funny thing is, though, they've drawn five of the last six. And I think this game's got a draw written all over it. All right, you know, Stevie well. G won't want to concede many goals. But I think there'll be goals in this poor score draw for me in that particular game. Oh, no. But Burnley Palace is two different styles uh, of football. Correct. You know, if Crystal Palace defend well, I think they'll win. 
Mm. You know, they play good football, Jeez, Paul. They do, you know, and Sahar and the boy Gallic in the middle of the park. He has done a great did, job. Did he get an England cap? He came on against San Marino. Yeah. So he got an England yeah, cap. Well done to him. He deserves it, Paul. He deserves He's it, been the best yeah. midfield player so far in the season. Scoring yeah. goals up and down. Burnley, Paul, turf, more difficult place to play. Another game, I think, score draw written all over it. Okay, Budge. Then we go on to Newcastle. Big game, now, Paul. Relegation manager. decider. You know, Newcastle haven't won 11 games. Do you think Brentford are a relegation year. team? Yeah, I think so, Paul. The goalkeeper, they had a great start, but they've lost four in a row. The Spanish goalkeeper got injured against Chelsea. They haven't, you know, they got beat at Norwich. Sorry, at home against Norwich last game, Paul. This is a big game. They've got to avoid defeat, yeah. If they don't, they're going to get sucked into the relegation draw? battle. A draw, yeah. A draw a Newcastle for me there, Paul. Now, Norwich or uh, new manager? Yeah, new manager, Dean so Smith. So, let, let, let's just have a quick look here. The new managers are coming up. Villa. Gerard. Your Villa. Uh, and uh, uh, Newcastle. And it could be a Man United shortly, but you never know what's yeah. going on there. So, how do you think Southampton? Well, I like Southampton. I watched them beat, uh, beat Watford last time. Paul, they played well. They should have won three or four. Yeah, they've only, I think it's their last five games, they only lost to Chelsea. Remember, it was one all for a long time. Yes. And again, yes, uh, the blonde yes, boy got, got sent, sent off. off yeah. I think 11 to 10 is a good bet, Paul. I know everyone expects Norwich to come back. They beat Brentford, but I think there's goals in this, Paul, but I fancy Southampton. All right, I, th I think uh, next one up is Man United. I think there's certainties. Should be, Paul. You know, Watford had drawn, the last, got one point in the last four home games. That was with Newcastle. Paul, I don't like what I see from United, but I just hope They've for the manager's quality. sake, we got enough. We score more away from home than we do at home. These so, are the uh, kind of games, Budge, that save people, well, Ollie. You know, you Paul, get we should win, be winning two and three nil. You're only sixth in the log. You win, yeah. you get back in the top four, maybe. You know, so that's, that's what well, we don't win at. this game. He's under severe pressure, but I think we will. Wolves versus West Ham. I like West Ham, Paul. Yeah, I just like what I see. You know, Wolves have done great, but West Ham's a physical team. Yeah. And uh, that Antonio's up front. They're solid in the midfield, good from set pieces, and I fancy West Ham, Paul, 14 to 10. Liverpool at home are 1 to 2 to beat Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, 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 half line Arsenal yeah. in their sense. But well, Arsenal unbeaten in 8. They won 6 and drawn 2. They kept three clean sheets away from home. They're going to Anfield, Paul. Won't be a clean sheet. Big game, won't be a clean sheet there. I fancy Liverpool. That's They're always under pressure. Yeah. A lot of injuries rumoured, but. The big games, Paul, they stand up. 5-10 to 10 Liverpool for me. OK. Uh, Man City, 1-6 to six yeah, Everton. They Paul. must be certainties. Should be, Paul. Everton have been woeful. So you've got to think Man City. Yeah, their last two games at home, you know, they didn't get it. They got beat by Palace and drew with Southampton. So you'd, but they've got to rebound against Everton. Ruff is under severe pressure there. So it's got to be Man City, Paul. Spurs are 7-10. to 10. I think the new boy Conti, another new yeah, manager. I, I fancy them, Paul. You know, Bamford's not playing for Leeds. Rafinha got injured against Argentina Gee. in midweek. You've got to fancy Spurs. I think Harry Kane, plenty of goals. This is another Harry Kane hat-trick, Paul. Oh, hey, please be right. OK, championship fixtures. Yeah, Paul, Friday night. I mean, Neil Horsman will be at the game. QPR, QPR play Luton Town. I fancy QPR, Paul. They're in our bets. I like what I see. Lyndon They're Dark's having a good year. Play. Having a good year. I like Mark Wilber to the manager. Luton, Paul, in and out team. I know they're a London side. Be a tough game, but I fancy Jeez, 13 It really is QPR. the outskirts of London, Luton Airport and things oh, like that. Vince yeah. Jansen's team. Luton yeah. team. But okay, Sheffield team. United struggling. Well, I think there's, there's goals in this game. Yeah, Sheffield United, like a lot of teams, are just below that, that six play. I think the four or five points below the top six. Coventry are going well, Paul, but it's their home Sheffield form that's United kept them. Sheffield United 18th, but... Yeah. But it's not many it's points tight. from, uh, it's tight, yeah. You know, I think it's a score draw game. Score Paul, draw, five okay. to two, a draw, a big player. Bristol City? Oh, Paul, Bristol City can't win at home and Blackburn can't win away from home. So Another draw. there'll be plenty of goals, Paul. Of the two teams, I like Blackburn Rovers, but okay. a draw wouldn't surprise me, Paul. Okay, that's fine. Fulman? Should be, Paul. The way they're playing, Mitrovic scored the goal. It's got them to the World Cup, Serbia beating Portugal. They'll be flying. I think they'll win comfortably, Paul. I hope so. It'd be nice to get Steve back in the big league. Yep. Huddersfield Town, yeah, uh, Paul, you know, Steve's Ruffy. Yeah, this is his lurker. You Which know. one got to turn it around? Paul, I've watched them. You know, you just don't know. The manager's got them. They, they play Who's a lot the of leagues. Now? That uh, West Brom is the guy that was at Barnsley. Ishmael, Vladimir Ishmael, I think he is. Israeli guy. Done a good job. You got brought Barnsley into the playoff. They had a great start, but I think they needed the break. I disagree with Steve. I don't see West Brom getting beat, but I can understand where he's coming from. West Brom lost the last three away from home. Yeah, I think they'll you. change it around here. Hull have been a bit of a, a bit of punching Paul, they've boys. Won, yeah, Paul, they beat Preston in their first game. They never won for a while. Then they got a result at home. 
Birmingham City is my best each way, your value bet, 17 to 10 for. Okay. One, three, and drawn one of the last four. Lee Boy has got them buzzing again. I think they'll beat Huddersfield, Hull City. Middlesbrough, 14th. Yeah, Paul, well, they fired Neil Warner. Chris Wilder Middle from Sheffield United uh, got the job. I think a draw written all over us. Millwall don't get beat too often. Yeah, they're not too bad. Eh? And he lost one they're of them in the, the top last, ten. Last six away from home. I think a draw written all over it. What about game. the North End? But well, I fancy my boys this week. You know, Cardiff okay. have lost nine out of the eleven. The only thing against it, they played Stoke City. They were three 0 down away from home and came back to haunt us. So you never know. But Paul Preston at home, hard to beat. Reading with Carroll. Yeah, Paul, tough game, but not as far as you know, they murdered Preston three 0 at home in the last game. Christmas, Christmas Carol scores a lot of goals. I don't see Forrest losing, Paul. Six-point okay. deduction may obviously get them fired up at Reading, but a close game. Okay, dokie. Yeah, Stoke should beat Peterborough, Paul. Peterborough away from home are woeful. Stoke are going well. I think five, five to, to ten. ten. A bit yeah. short, but they should yeah. win. And I agree with Steve on Swansea City. You like it, eh? Going well, one four in a row at home. Going well, playing good football. And they're scoring, Paul. Blackpool are not the worst, sir. No, not the worst away from home, but... Uh, you know, I just think Swansea done a bit of a role. Paul Dark Horses to sneak into the playoffs. And Derby County, yeah, the Battlers. Paul, you know, after the, the 12 point deduction, imagine sitting in the change room. You fought hard to get where you are well, at but, another 12 points. I know you've got to play. You've got to play. You've got to go out there and fight for it. Bournemouth, since yeah, they're going well, I think they've kept eight clean sheets in a row, eight to ten, Paul, best is, bit of the weekend. Has Bournemouth got the ex Fulham man? Uh, no, the, yeah, 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 he's uh, Parker, Scott Parker. Scott Parker. And Gary Cahill's changed their team, Paul, a bit of experience at the back, ex Chelsea centre. Yeah, yeah, ex England. Ex, yeah. All right, let's go to PSL, but what's happening at home? Well, we saw Bafana. I don't know what the latest is with the penalty. With I don't know if you saw the penalty. No, what happened? Jeez, but... Paul, you talk about thievery. That was daylight robbery. You know, we've appealed it. I remember we, two years ago, we played Ghana and we got a penalty that wasn't a penalty and they made us re re replay the game and we lost. We weren't in contention to get to the World Cup, but don't be surprised if it Was gets this replayed. a years in neutral? You say not oh, a penalty. Oh, Paul. You, when you see it, you think you've got to be kidding Why me. Why are those officials like that? Paul? Well, he was standing right there. Was it like he, he didn't see it? And what was it, a foul? Oh, uh, Paul, you see, he half grabbed him. and He did half grab him, but he took a step and dived and he gave the penalty and then he... No, you've got to be... This was VAR that sent the ref off. That's how bad it was. No, it was daylight robbery, Paul. So, so they've, they've um, got an appeal chance. Oh, I hope so, Paul, because if you're going to get beat, you don't get stuck at like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But on to the PSL, Paul. You know, I like Pirates. It's been a, obviously, the draw is a big player in this game. Yeah. Golden Arrows don't get beat at Sugar Ray Kulu Stadium in Claremont. But uh, for me, 23 to 10, the draw looks, looks the right player. Paul, Sekakuna. I like Sekakuna United. They're going well. Royal AM... At Chatsworth, they don't get beat. Away from home, you're not the best of records, but I don't see the home team getting beat there, Paul. Stellenbosch, 16 to 10. Oh, Amazulu. Yeah. I think the betting's the wrong way around. The reason it's that way, Stellenbosch have done well at home, but Amazulu have been playing at CAF. Yeah, yeah, they've got to yeah. the group stages. They've done great. So obviously, yeah. all the travelling in that. I yes. don't see 18 to 10, Paul. That's my play in that game, the draw in that particular fixture. Okay. Well, Baraka, Gavin got uh, fired or relieved from Who? his duty. Gavin Hunter. He's gone again. Yeah. Well, the rumours, I heard a couple of weeks. That, but the Paul, they, they won their first game. They haven't won in nine. So, you know, you're always going to be under pressure. But yeah. the, Baraka, at home, they're dangerous. Paul, I fancy Baraka of the two teams. But okay. And they haven't given you an uh, interim manager? Uh, Kurt Lanky, so I think he's, he was involved there. I think he played for Maritzburg. Young striker. Or striker cheaper up packet. Front. Cheaper packet, no doubt. They've got to pay Gavin a fortune. Super Paul, sport. Should be a good things, Paul. Seven to ten. I think of all the teams in the PSL, I think they're the good things. Now, Sundowns haven't conceded a goal, but they drew one all in the MTN final with Cape Town. I mean, City. they haven't conceded a goal, the league, and they drew one the all. League. That's conceding. In the league, haven't conceded oh, a goal, okay. but they played the MTN 8 final in Durban and went to penalties, one all. Yes. And uh, so, uh, Eric Tinker, have them fired up. I don't see Sundowns getting beat, Paul. Okay, but, uh, draw on Sundowns, yeah. Galaxy Swallows. Well, you know, Swallows, you just never know what you're going to get from them. But of the two teams, Paul, I like TS Galaxy. Okay, and, and then mark me up. Ma you know, Marisburg, Marisburg it's, uh, and Harry Guala, Paul, always hard to beat. But yeah, Kaiser Chiefs have come right the last few weeks. I don't see Chiefs getting beat there, Paul. Okay. Right, Buzz, let's look at your soccer picks. Yeah, oh, Paul, uh, Gold Circle, Soccer Six. Uh, I've thrown the draw in with Chelsea at, uh, at Leicester City. I've gone the field in the Aston Villa Brighton game. I've likewise the Burnley versus Crystal Palace fixture. I've gone West Ham to avoid defeat at Wolverhampton. And I've ended with two, two 
Two bankers, Man United to win at Watford and Liverpool to beat Arsenal 2-1-6. That's a good one, six. that. All right, Buds, the next one? Yeah, on to the uh, PSL Locals. local soccer six. I've gone Lander Pirates win and draw at Golden Arrows. I don't see Sekakuna United losing to Royal AM. I'm chancing Amazulu to avoid defeat against Stellenbosch. I'm going for Baraka, win and draw at home against Shipper United. Had to find a banker, so I'm bankering Supersport United to beat Maruma Gallants. And I've thrown the draw in Mamelodi Sundowns in Cape Town against Cape Town City. One All right, let's go to our local 10. On to our gold circle 10. I've gone Chelsea, win and draw at home against Leicester. I'm going Sheffield United, win and draw at home against Coventry. I don't see Brighton losing at Aston Villa. And I'm chancing Crystal Palace to avoid defeat at Burnley. I'm going for Newcastle to avoid defeat at home against Brentford. Our next page, I'm going Southampton, win and draw at Norwich City. I think Man United will be too good at Watford. I'm going for West Ham United to avoid defeat at Wolves. And Bankring Fulham to beat Barnsley and Liverpool to beat Arsenal 2-5-6. All right, the impossible dream. Well, the one we've got to keep trying for, Paul. Soccer 13 are Bankring Liverpool to beat Arsenal. Man United to beat Watford. West Ham to beat Wolves. I'm going Southampton to win at Norwich City. I'm going Brighton, win and draw at Aston Villa. Newcastle United, win and draw at home against Brentford. I'm going Crystal Palace to avoid defeat at Burnley. The second page, I'm going Blackburn Rovers, win and draw at Bristol City. I'm going for West Brom, away team as well, to avoid defeat at Huddersfield Town. I'm bankering Birmingham City to beat Hull City. Middlesbrough, win and draw at home against Millwall. Preston North End to beat Cardiff City and Nottingham Forest win and draw at Reading 256. All right, my favourite sheet. Budgie's bets, yeah, Paul. I'm going uh, West Ham to beat Wolves, Brighton to win or draw at Aston Villa, and Southampton to beat Norwich and over two and a half goals. I think they've both got to go for it, especially Norwich, 2,100 to 200. Next bet, so that match bet, both teams to score. I'm going Chelsea to beat Leicester, and both teams to score, yes. And Tottenham to beat Leeds. Likewise, both teams to score, yes. 2,500 to 200. Uh, team goals, I'm going Chelsea, Brighton, and Newcastle, all to score over 1.5 goals. And Man City to score over 2.5 goals, 3,800 to 200. My championship treble, I'm going QPR to beat Luton. Preston to beat Cardiff City, and Bournemouth to beat Derby, and over two and a half total goals, 2,900 to 200. My both teams to score sides all in the championship this week are Sheffield United, Coventry City, Huddersfield, West Brom, Middlesbrough, Millwall, and Reading, Notts Forest, 2,100 to 200. And I call us King, six or next, so I'm going Man City to beat Everton, Fulham to beat Barnsley, Bournemouth to beat Derby, Atletico Madrid to beat Osasuna, Real Sociedad to beat Valencia, and Hellas Verona to beat Empoli, 2,300 to 200. Okay, that's interesting. Budge, let me just get my notes here. There's 158 people still going in the last one standing. Make sure you get those into Budgie. A few people have started to come forward. Already. Yeah, Paul, got several of them, Paul. Okay, so just don't forget. And when does it start? Saturday morning? Uh, Saturday, yeah. It's Saturday, 11 o'clock. But with the clock's going back another hour, yeah. I give the people a little bit more time. Okie dokie. Until next time, stay on side.